So I put up a video on the member website titled Doomsday Prophecies of September 23rd, 2023. And in that video, I mainly focus on a scriptural study. I don't think I even mention what the predictions for September 23rd were. Anyway, it wasn't really about September 23rd. It was about every time this happens. It's been happening every year since I've been on YouTube. People seeing numbers, visions, resulting in the rallying of apocalyptic enthusiasts, carrying the conviction that something catastrophic is imminent. So what I've seen is people going up online to let everyone watching know that something is coming. Tomorrow, maybe an asteroid or an earthquake. Those happen. I understand with the state of the world, it does feel like everything is about to crumble. Now this is 2023, and every other week, something bad happens and people are going around online shouting out specific dates and numbers it all gets very boring you know when christ was on the mount of olives and his disciples asked him about the end of the world the very first thing that came out of his mouth was that first of all people are just going to keep popping up making predictions and Jesus answered and said unto them take heed and have no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye not be troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. What will happen on September 23rd, 2023? Viral TikTok movie and TV shows Doomsday Conspiracy Theory erupts online. TikTok user Black Apple Gallery 369 was one among the many who shared his September 23rd Doomsday prediction. He claimed that conspiracy theories about the world coming to an end on that date have flooded the internet. That comes after the numbers 9, 2, and 3 have repeatedly appeared in several television shows and movies. Yeah, that sounds reliable. The TikToker then shared a list of movies that showed something terrible happening on the 23rd of September. Some examples included an asteroid striking the Earth on the aforementioned date in the Big Bang Theory and the movies Seeking a Friend for the End of the World and Deep Impact. The movie Knowing showed the Earth being destroyed by a solar flare on the mentioned date as well. Little Shop claimed that humans will receive a deadly threat on that date. Tomorrowland showed that disaster strikes on the date the number 23 movie showed that the date is when hell arrives and the television show Sleepy Hollow showed a new dimension being opened on that date. A few other shows and movies that included the strange similarities included Evil, Ghostbusters, This is the End, Pandemic, Labyrinth, and Lost. A stop watching a Guinness beer commercial that claimed that one can discover dark secrets if they keep their mind open stopped at 9.23. A Black Eyed Peas music video also showed the 
aforementioned date, and the movie Don't Worry Darling was also released on that date. Netizens have since flooded the internet with the conspiracy theory. Now, here is some information, folks, that doesn't come from movies. A giant eruption covered over half the sun, then crashed into Earth nearly 12 hours earlier than forecast. A giant explosion lashed out from the sun this week, sending a flood of solar material careening toward Earth faster than forecasters realized. It started with a giant loop of plasma arcing from the sun on Saturday. The snaky filament grew, oozing further and further from the sun's surface until it accelerated away and burst into space. Keith Strong, a solar physicist who has worked for Lockheed Martin and NASA, shared footage of the eruption. So let me summarize what the article gets into. A massive filament of plasma on the sun erupted and resulted in a coronal mass ejection, a CME, a type of solar storm. The Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, initially predicted that this CME would trigger a geomagnetic storm when it reached Earth potentially causing disruptions in communications, satellite orbits, power grids. But the CME arrived about 12 hours earlier than expected. Now, the accuracy of space weather forecasts, there's limited data and space weather is complex. There is only one spacecraft positioned to collect data on solar storms. Predicting the timing and intensity of these storms is difficult, and it depends on various factors, including the direction of the magnetic field in the plasma cloud associated with the CME. So the forecast was relatively accurate, resulting in a moderate geomagnetic storm, a G2, with some fluctuations to a G3. The sun has been increasingly active in recent years, and we should expect more solar storms. Its peak activity is slated for mid-2024. They stated that while the solar eruptions and coronal holes had the potential for significant space weather disturbances, they were a bit too slow and a bit too spread out to pose major concerns for power grids and infrastructure. Instead, they provided the opportunity for spectacular auroras to be visible in various locations. In rare instances, a powerful solar storm could disrupt Earth's geomagnetic fields and damage infrastructure, but that wasn't the case this time as of yet, according to the article. And... This happened on the 19th, I believe, which means, yeah, that's pretty good timing for an event to occur days after that. An earthquake, volcanism, I would expect to see some aftershocks of the CME, not just pretty lights in the sky. Because I know what that means, and I have done so many videos about that and what's happening. Doesn't mean it's tomorrow. Something could be triggered as late as next week. The result of radiation from the sun hitting the earth in a blast, some of that radiation gets absorbed and then perhaps a volcano blows its top because of the increased activity of magma movement. And the point is, once these blasts of radiation, CMEs, when we get those, which will become more common. You just have to be ready for anything when they hit. I'm not a prophet, and I didn't need to see any numbers or have visions to know that. Remember, we still have many things to go through, and the time has not come yet. I think we're in the throes of it, but we still have a ways to go. 
this is not something we are supposed to be worrying about, folks. It really isn't. Your goal should be to live your best life as a righteous person. Make the proper preparations and going forward, try to make the best efforts toward just being a good person and being good to other people. Talk to God. Your goal, it's not to be sitting around wondering when it's all going to end. Because when you think it's the end, it's just going to be the beginning of something else coming. The Maui fires, the destruction in Libya. For many people, doomsday already happened. The question is, what does the end mean to you? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves ye know that summer is nigh so likewise yea when ye shall see all these things know that it is near even at the doors verily i say unto you this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away but of that day and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only Instagram at J.A. Woodward. Everyone have a great day. God bless. As always, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.